Okay guys, this one is gonna be a quick one. Because I don't want to spend my time and actually beat up my ego. It's gonna be hard. Okay. Stay in the video. I got scammed. Yeah, I did. And the scam cost me around about thousand bucks. Okay, there are this there are two scams in this scenario. The first scam is one that I it could be a scam, it not be a scam. But the thing is that a point of perspective is the scam. The thing is that I got I got a fan card online and it was a look like website of the real one. The thing is that you can get it for free and the link is down in the description. Well, I lost around 500 bucks on that, thinking that might be doing, but it legitimately didn't do anything. Do it, do it at your space. Second thing is that a data entry job. What happened is that there will be uh, this is there's a website on a Steam lease. I clicked on it. I did some procedure. No, no, no. What happens is I got a message. They said the data entry job is on ebook typing. Thing that you have to keep in mind that ebook typing is not necessary in such a scenario. Fine, let it be. There will be all those whatever. But the ebook typing is actually on some already official documents, like the one which I got Company Act. It's, it's basically about describing about the companies, whatever. But the fishing thing is that this thing has already been used for past 10 years. Why would it still be useful? That's where the scam was. I understood that. And what happens is that I registered for it. They say that you can't get in the job unless you pay upfront money. Like some cases it is 2000 to actually get access a bond, uh, access a salary of 20,000 and it gets worse by the actually 3,000 for 30,000 job, 30,000 salary for same job. But the thing is that this marketplace is so, so damn sh shrewd and sharp that they don't actually make a difference. So these guys are trying to scam. I left that one. But second thing, when I got some money, there was this 450 job that I had to end up. What happens? I ended 450 job. Let I started rationalizing. Okay, maybe something. Let me try this. Let me see what is this. If I lose money, I'll make a video. That's it. that's the end of the story. So what happens is that I spend around 450 to get in. It was a registration fee. Then what happens is it is supposed to be a three hundred pages PDF. They send hundred pages PDF, and you're supposed to fill that within thirty days. Well, glad gladly for me, it took me only two days. I send it. Now it's a real thing. They are asking for 20% commission. I I have recorded the call. Maybe I'll show, show it in the next video. It will be part 2. Because I, don't, I, I can't actually skip this shit. So what happens is that I refuse. Okay. I said this. Hey. I don't have money. Why would I actually be assigned, uh, signed up for a job to uh, get some... Uh, when I have no... I have no money. So I'm calling up for a job. I did a job to get money. Why are you asking me money? So that you act uh, as a commission to uh, to send it over. I'm like it's already effed up. Okay, I'll say say another story. The, there will be this kind of uh, lottery or this gambling kind of situation where they say that you pay this much money, you have won this much money, pay an advance of uh, two thousand for processing it. The thing is that our uh, Indian government has lottery systems for same purpose, and they deduct the amount, and you don't they take the tax, they take everything. And after that, it, around 30% reaches your account. That's how the lottery system does. So I said to them, you say this to the scammers also. Deduct it from my account and give me the rest. It's fine. You keep the money what you want. If they keep, still keep insisting, just walk away saying that, bro, I appreciate it. I, uh, this is what I said. I appreciate your offer, but I actually have no money. I'm so sorry. I cannot pay the commission. But if your manager or your uh, authorities found that, in the bottom of how to actually uh, pay me some uh, pay me something as a as an uh, appreciation or as a proof of trust, and uh, I'm gladly uh, send it over. I'm actually very happy uh, happy to receive them. Sign it off like that and walk away from scammers and start asking more details and don't jump from one small scam to another scam. There will be some situations you have to pay. I just pay to gamble. Basically, that's what that's happened. Yeah. See ya.